a student in a computer room. Winding about impending doom, they lost their file without a trace. To Mr. G they plead their case, no way it can be replaced. They go on and on and on and on, don't stop saving, then there won't be complaining, don't stop saving oh, Ladies and gentlemen, special treat for you today. That was Mrs. Gooprod performing Don't Stop Saving. So today's video, this this video is about saving, how to save. How to save is the number one question that I get out of all the questions about 3D modeling. How to save, how to actually save. That's the number one question I get. So let's figure out how do we actually save. For example, I have two parts here. I have a blade part. I have a dowel. Let's figure out where to save these, how to save these, and why to save them in a certain way. First thing I do to save these, I go to, in the upper left-hand corner, I click Pro, where that I is. The I stands for Inventor Pro for Professional. I click Save As. When I click Save As, that, the computer, it allows me to tell it where I want these parts. I click Save As. Now, when I go to this folder here, I ha it's like... It wants to first put it in your documents, and that's not good. We don't want to put it in your documents. This is how stuff gets lost if people save in here automatically. When we click this green arrow up, hit it again, and then you can just keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, and then you'll eventually come to this where you can click computer. Where you see computer, now you can do one or two things. So first of all, first of all we got to double click computer. And then now, on your screen, a couple things will show up. Hopefully by this time, you'll have put your flash drive in. So to save your flash drive, your flash drive will show up. After you double click, so again, we double click computer, and then the flash drive will show up somewhere in here. Another option would be saving to your student H drive. If you save it to your student H drive, please be warned. So this is your warning that sometimes Inventor does not like when people save to their H drive. And sometimes those files get lost and they can't be replaced and then not good things happen then you gotta make it again so that's why Miss Group Road, me, that's why I tell you Miss Group Road tells you to save to a flash drive so flash, save to a flash drive you don't have to worry about that file getting lost you have to worry about losing your flash drive but that's where you'll be responsible and make sure that you don't lose it so anyway I'll back up for a second so let's say it started in our documents I go to computer and then we can see our, um, our different drives here, your flash drive. This is my portable hard drive. I'm just gonna double click on here. I'm going to create a new folder. So this is something I would like you to do. Create a new folder, call it STEM. So do this on your flash drive or in your H drive, STEM. Create a new folder in the STEM folder, title it seventh grade. Create a new folder in the seventh grade folder. Let's title that 3D Modeling. Create a new folder in the 3D Modeling folder. So when you're 3D modeling, create a new folder for each like big kind of project thing you're making. So if it's practice, maybe name it practice. If it's the ice cube, the structure to insulate the ice cube, call it the ice cube house or something like that. Uh, for this one, these are wind turbine blade parts, so I'm going to call this turbine blade. So then in there, that's where I'm going to save these parts. I push enter. Now I can double click this and I can save my parts in here. I'm saving this first part. If I just name it part one, that's an awful name. Part one doesn't tell me about much what it is. Let's just say it is the balsa, balsa wood blade. So balsa blade. When I read that file name now, that tells me what it is. That's a smart way to organize things is to name stuff with a proper name. So I saved that part file there. This part file is now saved that's saved on my hard drive or uh, flash drive part number two here we go we got a dowel let's go to pro let's go save as and it already went to here but let's say let's say I got to back up for a second so oh no double click computer I go to my drive my like flash drive or H drive go to my stem folder seventh grade go to my 3D modeling, I go to my turbine blade, and in here now I can put my other part. We'll call this the dowel. 
And if you want, you can title it like dowel one, dowel two, I don't know, maybe you have different dowels or other pieces. And then um, I'll click save. So then all the parts for your turbine blade project should be in here. So when you create a blueprint, when you create an assembly, all that type of stuff, just shove it right in here. Here's my big tip for you. Wherever you save your assembly file and your parts and your blueprints, keep them all in the same folder. Autodesk Inventor is kind of a goofy program, is when we make parts and we make an assembly, those assemblies look for those parts wherever you originally saved those part files. So if you move these part files around, that assembly file is not going to be happy. That assembly file, like if you move these parts files around, it might cause an error on the assembly file and the assembly file might not be able to find these parts. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you save on Autodesk Inventor for our 3D modeling. Very, very important to have organized folders. It is required. It will make your life much easier. And one thing that I notice in terms of with anything with success in 3D modeling, success in calculating the math, success in doing the design process, success in just about anything in life is generally when people are organized, they are more successful. So please organize your stuff, be more successful. And if you have some requests for songs, either from um, uh, Mrs. Group Road or myself or something like that, or one of our, or Granny or Artie, if you have requests for songs, you let us know. We're, we're ready and willing to do more performances. Thanks for watching.